Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the last, I believe the last, step into ensuring that when we have elementary OS installed onto our Chromebook, which for this will be for the Acer C720, uh, which we've completely removed Chrome OS and just replaced it with elementary OS, that there's a little issue in the suspend. And what the suspend is, is when you press the power button, the screen kind of turns off, or if you close your lid, uh, the thing is, when you try to reopen it up or re-push your power button to come back from that, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it's glitchy, uh, it's kind of a hit or miss. Uh, so what this is going to do, it's actually going to remove all those issues and it should work right away real smooth for you. Uh, so as you can see right here, again, I will have a link in the description to this exact article, uh, but I will have also all these commands and codes in the description as well, so you don't necessarily need to come here, but it would pay a nice little tribute to the actual creator of this article. So what we're going to first need to do is make sure that you do have Nautilus installed. Now I do not know if you have Nautilus installed. If you do not, you want to go ahead and type in this command. And then to start it, you will just type in sudo nautilus. Go ahead and type in your password. And there we go. So we'll now go to over to our computer. We'll need to go to ETC, which is extra. We'll need to go to, let's double check, make sure PM sleep D. Okay. Then we're going to need to go down to PM. Where's P, P, B, C, M, P, M, P, M, P, M. There we are. PM sleep D. And you're going to need to find a two of them here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, they're both the exact same thing, ironically. Anyways, you need to come to make sure that you have this file. If you don't have this file, you'll just need to create one. So I'm going ahead and go open it up with Gedit. And you're going to see this is what we have right here. This is going to be the exact code that you're going to need to paste, which is going to be this code right here, which again I will have in the description. So you're just going to copy and paste that. Uh, if you do not have Gedit installed or some sort of text editor, you can go ahead and type in this into the terminal before you go ahead and open all this because you're going to need it. And then you can just right click your file, open with whatever you've downloaded, and we will work from there. Uh, so again, just copy and paste it, click the save button. If you're using uh, a text editor and you notice there is no save button, try just exiting out and then reopening it up. Chances are it probably saved by itself. So we'll exit out of here. So we're going to go ahead and down. As you're going to see, you're going to need to now type in this command. So go ahead and close Nautilus if you'd like to and type this. Now, once you're done there, we're going to need to go back into Nautilus and we're going to need to go to ETC and look for the rc.local. So rc, where are you at? rc.local and we're going to right click it again, open it with your text editor and you're going to need to scroll down. Yours is probably going to be just that right there. And we're going to need to now add those commands. So it's going to be right here. Again, I will have this in the description. Once you've done that, you can just save it. Go ahead and exit it out. We're going to need to now do one more little piece right here within Nautilus. And that's going to go to up to the default. Where's default folder? Right, right there. Go into default, we'll then need to go to, let me double check real quick, the grub file, which is this one right here. Again, right click, open it with your text editor, and you're going to need to find this command right here, which should be the second to last one. So this is the last one right here. We need this grub right there, and you're just going to copy and paste this command, which again, that will also be in the description, and replace the one that is currently there. So this is what it should end up looking like when you're set and done. Go ahead and click save, exit out of that, and you're going to be done with Nautilus, so you can just right click out of that. Now looking at the terminal, should take a quick second to figure everything out so that it says that it's done. Any day now, there we go. Okay, so what you're going to need to now is just these final two uh, commands. Uh, it says right here, update grub, update grub that's two. Uh, realistically though you're going to need to do either sudo and then those commands which again I'll have both of those in the description so just go ahead and run both of these commands once you've run those just go ahead and then finally uh, reboot your device you can either open up your terminal and type in sudo reboot or just go to the top right hand corner and go restart it that way 
Once you've done it, uh, go ahead and test it out. Go into your desktop, hit your power button, see if it suspends. Now it might take a quick second, a little stutter, but it's going to work pretty flawlessly. Uh, and then go ahead and press it again and try to come back out of that. Uh, you can also try closing your lid and then reopen up your lid and just make sure, you know, make sure it runs smoothly. Now, if none of this is working for you, remember I am doing this on the Acer C720. It should also work on the HP 14 as those are the only two Chromebooks up to this date that the elementary OS is completely installable on. Uh, but again, that's going to change in the future as more and more, you know, uh, laptop manufacturers start giving more options to not just be kind of strictly stuck to Chrome OS devices. Again, if you do have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.